Hello all, welcome to the Mechanical Engineer. In this video, I am going to show you how to build a machine learning model to predict the weld quality. Actually, the, the weld quality depends on various parameters like uh, voltage, current, uh, travel speed, then thickness, shielding gas, then electro type, joint design. There are plenty of uh, parameters that influence the quality of weld. So for this uh, tutorial, I have considered only the four parameters, voltage, current, travel speed and thickness and the final output is going to be the quality. So I have a set of uh, data set. So actually, if you are going to do a project on weld quality assessment, then you can conduct the experiments, you can vary the voltage, current, travel speed, thickness and you can uh, evaluate the quality of the weld uh, using any one of the quality assessment technique and you can develop a predefined data set. So with this predefined data set, we can develop a machine learning model to predict the unknown data. So actually I am going to develop the model in the MATLAB environment and I am going to use a KNN classifier. So we can use any classifier. So for simplicity I have chosen K nearest neighbor algorithm as it is a beginner friendly tutorial. So I have created a table using the standard data set. So initially I am going to import the data into the MATLAB environment. So first I am going to clear all in the workspace. So initially I am going to import the data into the MATLAB environment. So I can run this section. So now I have imported the data set into the MATLAB environment. Next, in this data set, the first four columns are uh, numerical values and the last one is a categorical value. So I am changing data.quality, that is uh, the quality column into categorical data. So I can convert this. Next, I am going to split the input and the output. So the input is X. So I am going to convert the table into array data n minus 1 because the n column is the output value and y is the output value so data dot quality that is the last categorical value. Now I am going to convert the data into x and y so you can see that. Next I am going to split the data set into training and testing data set. So actually in machine learning model generally we will train using a maximum number of data and finally we will test with the minimum number of data. So the general uh, procedure is 80 percentage data will be used for training and the remaining 20 will be used for testing. So I am following the same procedure. I am going to use uh, 80 percentage for training and the remaining 20 percentage for testing. So I have used a split 0 0.8. So IDX will randomly generate numbers and uh, in the numbers the first 80 percentage will be used as train IDX and the remaining 20 percentage will be used as test IDX. So with this 80 percentage and 20 percentage the input and output value will be generated. So I am uh, defining the training input as X train and the training output as Y train. Similarly uh, the testing input as X test and uh, the testing output as Y test. So I can run this section. So now you can see that. So I have created uh, X train. So 14 data are there. Similarly Y train the corresponding output values. Similarly X test, so four values are there. Similarly Y test is the corresponding output value of the testing data set. So this is a common procedure for splitting uh, the data into training and testing. Next I am going to build a model. So I have used K as 5, so I am going to use uh, a K nearest neighbor algorithm. So I have used fit C K N N using X train and Y train and the number of neighbors I have specified. So I have used uh, uh, 5. So as it is a beginner friendly tutorial, I am not going to refine the model. So simply I am selecting a base model and I am moving forward. So now I am going to train the model. The model is trained. Next I am going to predict the X test with the trained model. So the code is predict model. Uh, the input data is X test. So I'm going to save it in Y predict. So I'm going to run this section. Next I'm going to evaluate the predicted accuracy. Actually, actually we have trained the model using X train 
and y train now i have uh, used the x test to predict the data next i am going to compare the y test with the y predicted to calculate the accuracy so this is the equation for calculating the accuracy so sum y predict is equal to equal to y test divided by normal y test and it will display the accuracy so this code will display the accuracy so i'm going to run this section so you can see that the accuracy is 100 percentage so in general in machine learning all the people will plot a confusion chart so this is a confusion chart code so confusion chart y test and y predict so i can run this so this is the confusion chart for the developed model so actually the accuracy is 100 percentage so i have got uh, defective defective only one and it is in the true class similarly the predicted good uh, is same as the true class good so three is there so totally four uh, datas were used for uh, test and uh, the algorithm has completely predicted all the data so the accuracy is 100 percentage if you are using this code for uh, any of your uh, experiment then you can conduct the experiment you can collect the data and with that data you can use this code and uh, this is a simple data set so i have got 100 percentage accuracy with this simple model and if you are going for uh, a complex data then you need to refine this uh, algorithm and you need to improve the accuracy there are uh, many other parameters to optimize the training performance so you can use the parameters and uh, you can improve the accuracy of the training. Thank you.